Got a green one coming. Go, we're racing Gary Fagel, Tim Weir. Together to the top corner. Gary Fagel won't give an inch, but it didn't work. Didn't work back in the middle either. Well. We nearly got around the first corner. Try again. Good luck for Brendan Cowley. Parked on the infield. We'll try again. Tim Weir versus Gary Pagel. Glenn Pagel versus Tim Atkin. Feigl's doing the squeeze this time. Tim Atkin won't, Tim Weir won't give him any room. Down the back shoot. Tim Weir, Gary Feigl, Glenn Feigl's in there. Tim Atkin will be the next one. Jared Peacock lines up as they go round Feigl's corner. Tim Weir, Gary Feigl, Glenn Feigl. Tim Atkin back then to Jaron Peacock through the hairpin corner. Next one through is Nigel Mulvaner. Then we've got the uh, Dane Francis car. Under the control, Taron down the back, the front four. So a blanket over them. Tim Weir to the better of Gary Pagel, Glenn Pagel, Tim Atkin, Jared Peacock, Nigel Mulvaner. Dane Francis would be the next one, then Tim Gapple, Chris Hamm, and at the back it's uh, Brendan Weber. No change in the order around the hairpin corner. Up the zinc straight away. Tim Weir to the better, Gary Pagel. Back behind him is Glenn Pagel. Tim Atkin is 15 car. Next one through there would be Jared Peacock, but he's got a bit of distance to make up. Nigel Mulvenna and Dane Francis. Then we've got Tim Gapple to the better of Chris Hamm. And at the punt tail, it's Brendan Weber. Then we're back with Tim Weir. Through the hairpin corner he goes. Up the uh, main straightaway. In front of Gary Pagel. Glenn Pagel is still there in position number three. And Tim Atkin is still there in position four, and then a big gap. Back to uh, Jared Peacock. These four under the control. Now they go once again. Tim Weir is the race leader as he goes charging down the back straight away to the better of uh, Gary Pagel in front of Glenn Pagel. Next run through will be Tim Atkin. Drop back then in to the next position, which is Jared Peacock in front of Nigel Mulvaner, Dane Francis. Tim Apple goes by, as does Chris Ham, and they're coming up on Brendan Weber. So I'll put a lap on the Weber car. Tim Weir goes underneath him. Gary Pagel wants to go with him. Round the top corner they go. Glenn Pagel would be the next one. Tim Atkins got it offline a little bit. Glenn Pagel moves up very quickly on the tail of Gary Pagel under the control tower. They're in the second half of the distance and Tim Weir is being hotly pursued now. Gary Pagel, here comes Glenn Pagel, move over. Can't do it. Gary Pagel fights back. Glenn Pagel tucks in behind. Tim Atkin would be the next one in front of Jared Peacock. Nigel Mulvena into the hairpin corner. Tim Weir to the better Gary Pagel, Glenn Pagel. Tim Atkin trying desperately to get up in contact with the Jared Peacock would be the next one through Nigel Mulvena. And a Dane Francis back then to Tim Gapple. And we've lost uh, Brendan Weber onto the infield and out of this one as Tim Weir goes up the zinc straight away to the better of uh, Gary Pagel, who's got his hands full now with Glenn Pagel. Tim Atkin not too far away. 
into the hairpin corner. Chris Ham is the next one in front of Tim Weir. To the better, Gary Pagel, Glenn Pagel, Tim Atkins. Jared Peacock, Nigel Mulvenner has got Dane Francis close behind. Tim Gaffel and Chris Ham. And then we're back with our race leader, Tim Weir. Gary Pagel. And we've got a stoppage, which is probably what the cars running second, third and fourth really needed. He's got six laps to hold on. Tim Weir, Gary Pagel immediately tucks the nose underneath. Glenn Pagel wants to go high. Tim Atkin wants to be part of it as well. Into the hairpin corner. Tim Weir, Gary Pagel, Glenn Pagel, Tim Atkin, Darren Peacock, Nigel Mulvenna, Tim Gaffel, Chris Ham, and Dane Francis. Down the back shoot. Gary Pagel's close. Tim Weir got to hold the line. Gets it a little bit wobbly. Gary Pagel tries to put the nose down the inside. Round the top corner. Tim Weir, Gary Pagel, Glenn Pagel. Tim Atkin. Into the hairpin corner once again. Tim Weir, Gary Pagel. Glenn Pagel, Tim Atkin, back then to Jared Peacock, Nigel Mulvenna, Chris Ham, Tim Gaffel, and at the back it's Dane Francis, down the back straight, into the hairpin corner, and they, you couldn't get him any closer, couple of laps remaining, Tim Weir, got to stay down low on the track, Gary Pagel forcing, can he find somewhere, into the hairpin for the next to last time. Pagel has a little look as the whip lost. Glenn Pagel out of it with a lap remaining. Tim Weir down the back shoot. Glenn Pagel has on the infield into the hairpin for the last time. Tim Weir is going to make a two-piece race win. Gary Pagel, Tim Atkins. Jared Peacock, Nigel Mulvenna. I'd probably say Dane Francis on the inside of Chris Ham. Two feature race wins on the night, folks. Put your hands together for him. Tim Weir. Great feature race for modified St. Hands. Hard luck there for Glenn Pagel. Production feature coming your way will be will be just as good. Round two of the SSA. Ian Botcher race parts. Production sedans Mountain King series. But yes, folks, put your hands together for him. Tim Weir. National four feature race, modified sedan feature race.